Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This 1959 Jeep CJ2 was brought in as the owner did some engine work and now has a valve train noise. The customer did not have all the correct rocker arms and decided to use a different rocker arm that was modified by himself using a grinder and three washers as spacers, which caused the rocker arm to contact the spring retainer. Yeah, that's good quality, right? This Ford Mustang came in for an inspection as a customer said he wants to sell his car and it shouldn't need anything, as his friend just fixed the floorboards and he just needs an inspection report, saying his car is safe. The technician declined to say the vehicle was safe once he saw these repairs, and said the car really needed new brakes and had various leaks, which the customer did not want repaired. This 2021 Ford Ranger was brought in as a customer said his engine sounds like a whistle. The technician found the noise to be caused by the turbo and that the vehicle hasn't had an oil change in 30,000 miles. The customer declined all repairs. Long story short, the owner of this Corvette added too much oil to his engine, as he was not aware the oil level had to be checked while the engine was running. There was expected a total of 16 quarts of oil in the engine, which the customer declined to have it drained and filled with the appropriate amount, then drove the vehicle away and said he'll just have the car repossessed. 2024 Santa Fe Hybrid Collective PDI. Greenish brown interior, black door, doesn't match. And this vehicle was towed in as a customer says they have no throttle response. The customer said they apparently had another shop repair a damaged engine air intake hose. The shop found that somebody had just put this can in the tube to prevent it from collapsing and taped the hose together. But the can got sucked into the throttle body and caused their concern. So I've seen some things in my life, but never thought I'd see this. This is a hubcap <clears throat> clipped over an alloy rim. The last time this customer was at this shop was for a low airflow issue. He declined repairs and decided to try and fix the issue himself. He's now back as he said he has water leaking onto the floor and he can't figure out why. The customer severely damaged the HVAC box which is apparently a discontinued part. When this 2020 Subaru WRX STI was brought in for a transmission concern, the technician was pretty surprised to see all of this JB weld on the exhaust. Customer states the car makes a weird noise in the rear. The technician said the rear differential mount bushings were broken in half, and the rear air ride suspension spring bags were blown out. The customer did not get any repairs done and drove away. And this car was brought in as a customer says they have a fuel leak after he tried fixing a broken fuel line. The shop gave a quote to the customer, but he declined repairs. Customer states pulled out onto the highway, heard a funny noise, and then the engine stopped. And upon attempting to start it again, it would not turn over. The technician said this 2014 Jeep Wrangler has already had the engine replaced three times since the customer has owned it, and he's waiting to hear back if the customer will be purchasing another. So we have a custom cutout for the exhaust, which I like. That's pretty cool. But what really got me is the reset here. Looks like whatever he was welding to right there must have fell out. And uh, Yeah, not much there holding it. This Porsche Cayenne Turbo was brought in as a customer says it runs rough. The customer had these high-performance spark plugs just installed, which caused their issue. You can submit clips that you personally filmed on our website at justrolledinyt.com. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.